Hey everybody, Robin Taylor with Taylor Freelance. Today we're going to talk about getting 10 round magazines to lock up and stay that way. It's not always the easiest thing. And um, as it happens, the many of the firearm manufacturers that make uh, flat based magazines like this uh, use a stud system where, oops, sorry, use a stud system where you have this flat plate with a little plastic stud or metal stud sticking down from the bottom. Um, those sometimes change over time. And in this case, I'm using a Walther PDP 10 round magazine, and I'm not trying to beat up on Walther. This is just a normal change that happens with this case from a change of materials. The original Walther PDP magazines came with a steel locking plate. Um, the steel locking plate worked fine and we designed parts around it like this one. Um, and when you, when you use the steel locking plate, everything locks up great. And I'll try to demonstrate that without launching it across the room. There you go. Box up really good, but it has a little bit of, you know, front to front, front to back play. Walter then changed the locking plate from the steel plate, the steel one, to a polymer one, which is probably less expensive, and fits up more positively on the on their polymer one. The problem is, it doesn't fit up as positive on ours. Ours, see, I push that, I can push that off with my thumb. I have to try, but it goes. So why is it doing that? We got out a set of calipers and checked, and we discovered that the distance from the very, very front to the top, to the front leading edge of the post on this one versus this one, the plastic one is 40 thousandths longer. So as a result, it's moving the post out of position and not letting it lock up properly. So how long is 40 thousandths? Well, 40 thousandths of an inch is only this much. It's a teeny, teeny amount. Uh, when you look at it on the on the plastic piece, it's it's not quite the full thickness of this reinforcing rib in the front. So, the typical fix for one of these is to take the take the cheap plastic um, cheap plastic locking plate and take a little bit off the front with a bench grinder or something like that. And like I said, only this teeny amount. So, and that will allow the post to come up forward enough that it'll lock up positively like it's supposed to, and you'll be down the road. So again, not trying to beat up on Walther. This is a normal manufacturing change. All they did was change materials and they moved a little dimension, but it creates fit issues when you have tightly fit race parts like those you get from Taylor Freelance. So anyway, there you go.